Good morning, folks. Let's look at natural gas today. This is the daily chart at the NYMEX on the Henry Hub. And we've rolled over this weekend with a tiny downward gap, only a couple of cents, really. Now, look below us. We've got this Fibonacci, the blue line. That's um, at about 2.65. And it's also the bottom of the gap that was created by this last uh, contract rollover gap. So that's 2.65. The key level, however, is at about 2.5, slightly or fractionally above that. That's this um, sort of pink, orange, not quite sure what color it is. And it's also that previous swing low. It's an overall very, very strong structural support line. If I draw this chart going back a long, long way, you'll notice that 2.5, this pink line, keep an eye on it as we go backwards, has been relevant for a very long time going back to 2021 and we could go much much further back if we want to so it's a pretty key level and it's also been respected in the recent price movement so 2.5 is actually the level where i prefer to be buying extra natural gas let's scroll back to where we are a long way so we've got two key levels we've got 2.65 the bottom of the gap which also coincides with the 618 fib if we did drop down there and sort of meander around a little bit we'd end up at the trend line as well so considering this is a day chart, we could sort of dribble down and then find some support at about 2.65. We'd meet the trend line there and probably the 20 period moving average, which is moving up. And maybe some of the other ones like the 50 period moving average is starting to accelerate upwards. So all the moving averages are turning upwards. The trend line is supportive. The rollover has been supportive. A little weekend gap down, not much. So maybe, just maybe, there, there could be an opportunity for those who sort of got locked out, didn't get the opportunity to get in long if we pull back into some of these more sensible levels. So 2.65 or roughly thereabouts. Remember, these are just levels. The market doesn't trade precisely to exact numbers. Not anymore, anyway. Um, with the advent of algorithms and uh, even more so with AI-fueled algorithms, these levels tend to be very sort of choppy, sort of chop zones and areas which cannot be relied upon precisely. Therefore, we look for levels and I'll be looking for around about 2.65 and around about 2.5. Keep an eye on this red trend line, the 20 period moving average, the green line here. And we've also got the 100 creeping up slowly. But as I said, the 50 is also turning up quite dramatically. So, so overall, quite bullish. And the targets, if you manage to get long and manage to get into this trade, will be about 3.15. That's the top of this uh, sort of recent swing high. But beyond that, we want to get a little bit higher up to this swing high where that blob is at about 3.6. And I think we could actually even stretch a little bit higher and maybe closer to $4, maybe 375, 380, somewhere around there. Let's keep a very close eye on it. But if you didn't manage to get long or you're not long or you've taken some profit and you're looking for dips to rebuy upon, then as I said, 2.65 and 2.5 are the key levels. If we break and hold beneath $2.50, um, that would not be a good sign for natural gas. We may have to get to the bottom of this last rollover gap, the previous one that was going back to February. And that could take us all the way back down to $2. I think that's very unlikely, but one can never rule these sorts of things out. So keep that in mind. As with every trade, there's always the chance that you're going to get it wrong uh, or that the probabilities will go against you. The odds, the lady luck will go against you. About seven times out of 10, I expect to win my trades. So three of those will be losers out of every 10. And sometimes those three trades that out of every 10 that I lose are made up by extreme and unusual events, like, for example, closing below 250 on natural gas. So I don't think that's going to happen. And if it did, it would be a rare and unlikely occasion. So for now, if you're already long, there's not a lot to do unless you want to add some. If you're not long, I've given you the levels 265, 250 levels to buy at or consider buying. Wait for a four hour reversal candle. Look for all your signs and signals to set you up for this trade. Don't just rush in and assume that we're going to hold support at 265 or 250. And if you're not sure how to determine those entry signals and directions and so on, the Swing Trading Blueprint course is now live. There's a link below. So I hope you enjoyed that. Have a fantastic trading week. I think it's going to be a good one and perhaps quite volatile. All sorts of economic news coming out. And of course, we've got the added volatility created by Israel and Ukraine and the upcoming elections. So quite a week lying ahead. Uh, I think it's going to be quite an exciting week. All sorts of news coming out. And of course, there's the added spice. So take care, be careful, manage your risk properly. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bulls against the bear. Whispers of a cold front
send us in the scales. Margin's tight, margin calls, nerve. 